What's up, guys? Joe Munoz, one -step .com. I got my buddy Javier in the sim here with me. Hey, anyway, I want to share something with you about these lights over here. Yaw damper, speed trim, the whole flight control panel really over here, but primarily the speed trim fail. It is illuminated amber. Is that normal? Is that normal to see that on a pre-flight? And the short answer is yes, for the simple reason that the IRSs are not aligned. If I put the switches to nav, I'm going to give us a, uh, a quick align here in the... Um, instructor operating station okay there's a possibility to give you a quick align we can see now they are quick aligned up here and you will notice the speed trim amber fail light has extinguished so if on pre-flight you wonder hey is the speed trim fail light amber illuminated normal during pre-flight if the irs is having aligned yes it's normal otherwise then you may need to look further into it but that's the short answer for that that's kind of interesting that the visuals are doing that back there obviously we don't see that in person but just so you know those rainbow colors aren't happening here in the sim for real all right the other thing i'm going to share with you here is a yaw damper the yaw damper in the ng we got two yaw dampers okay even though there's one switch there's actually two in the second yaw damper the first yaw damper the primary yaw damper is powered here by the b system and the second yaw damper is powered by the standby hydraulic system. What's interesting is we actually got to put both of these flight control switches to standby rudder, and that is how we would enable us to get to the standby yaw damper to reactivate that. Now, don't do that unless guided to do so by the QRH, because remember, these are amber lights. Amber lights, we're going to reference QRH, but I just want you to know, those of you particularly transitioning from classic to NG aircraft, the classic has a single yaw damper. The NG has two yaw dampers. Despite the fact that there's only one yaw damper switch, it's accessible when we put both flight control switches up here to standby rudder, as guided by the QRH. If you're interested, it's going to be in Chapter 13, Loss of Hydraulics, Manual Reversion Checklist right there is what it's going to share with you to put the yaw damper back on. Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. I'll see you in another video.